How's it going guys, in this video we'll be installing and reviewing the white solid color eye carbon skin for the PlayStation 4. If you're like me and you've been eyeing that white PlayStation 4 Destiny bundle but don't want to drop the $400 on it, this is a great solution and it makes your PS4 look even more badass. The first thing you're going to want to do before you install the skin is to clean off your PS4, get a microfiber cleaning cloth, clean off all the dust, any residue, anything that could be on it, just clean it off. You don't want anything to stick onto the console when you're applying the skin. Once your console's all cleaned up, it's time to start applying the eye carbon. So in this video tutorial, we're going to start off with the top part of our PlayStation 4 that actually has the PlayStation logo on it. One useful trick that eye carbons recommends you do when you're installing your skin is to peel back the skin in the opposite direction. That way the skin sticky side is facing upward and not directly on the console. Then reapply the skin onto the paper that's provided with the skin and then that way you can apply it much more easily onto the console as if you're sort of using like a ruler. Then you can just slide off the paper and you're pretty much just done with that section of the console. This trick is specifically useful for the glossy sides of the PS4 more than the other sides because the glossy side is more probable to stick harder onto the skin than the matte sides. And although chances are you're most likely holding your PS4 horizontally instead of vertically, iCarbon still provides a bottom part of the skin for the PlayStation 4 and the install is pretty much the exact same way as you would for the top half. Except now both sides are matte and so it's not as hard as you would be doing the top glossy side. The front of the console is pretty easy to do, just line up the PS4 logo with the skin and just apply it and since it's a matte surface it's pretty easy to do. There's also a small triangle to go inside the 4 logo in the PS4. I found this pretty easy to do by just using a toothpick or a DS stylus and then just fix it with my finger. For the front of the PS4 that says Sony, just use the logo as a guide to apply the skin as you would the top path that says the PlayStation logo. And then just go ahead and match up the rest of the front of the console with the two other remaining skins. They're both matte so they should be pretty easy to apply. For doing the sides of the PS4, just go ahead and get your eye carbons and line them up with the side of the PS4. If they line up correctly, then that's the correct side. The left side of the PS4 has one bottom matte finish and the top one is glossy. So follow the same precautions we told you before. Just apply the matte one, and for the glossy one, you might want to use that rule about reapplying it with the paper that comes on the skin. I gotta say, I love my PS4 even more than I did when I first got it. It looks awesome without the skin, but it just looks so much better with it in my opinion. I like the white color tone PS4 a lot more, I'm really sad I can't buy a new one, but this is just as great. It looks nice, and the carbon fiber look to it just looks pretty badass. Having my PS4 right next to my PS3 sort of just puts it to shame because now I kind of wish I had a white PS3 too. Even better, when you have the skin on and you turn on your PS4 and the blue light turns on, it's the unofficial Stormtrooper theme of the PS4. Overall, I highly recommend the iCarbon skin for your PS4. I'll have a link to it in the description below, and the company makes a bunch of skins for other different platforms as well. As always gamers, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.